it's sharp on the on the straight edge right there. It's um that's my utility blade. Anything from cutting boxes, uh, whittling wood, you know, just anything like that. I gotta make a tent stake when I'm camping. It's the sheep's foot. Now, if uh, if something happens and I've got to like cut into myself, uh, like I get an ingrown toenail, I gotta cut the toenail out or something like that. This is a spay blade, all right, and I use that for what I call my field scalpel. It is so sharp. Uh, it's every bit as sharp as a medical scalpel. But, uh, well, for that matter, so is my, uh, so is the sheep's foot. But, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, that's my, that's my EDC. I use it for everything. Now, I've got a lot of other knives, but they generally stay at the house. I got a bag, I keep them in. And, uh, They've got their different uses. But as you see, this one goes with me everywhere and cutting up my veggies. Uh, that, that one's kind of ugly. I'm not going to use that one. All right. Oh, and uh, for your uh, DIY folks out there, um, if you're ever cutting up celery and you want to So, I had originally started with a, a channel um, called uh, Camp Smiley Outdoor, or Outdoors, but my wife really wanted for us to have a channel so that here in the future when we hit the road, uh, we can have a, a site for, you know, a YouTube channel for both of us. Uh, that we can just have all of our um, all of our uh, videos on one channel which is cool you know the fact that she wants to do this with me I, I like that so that's why we come up with with cat tracks uh, you're probably wondering you know cat tracks that's kind of uh, random isn't it no it's not the cat comes from Chris and Tammy, and uh, the tracks. You know, it's it's um, it's us making tracks. You know, it's just a Chris and Tammy tracker. Uh, so you can basically see what we're doing, where we're going, and when we hit the road, we're planning on being in an RV. So we'll be doing RV videos. I I know you see them all out there. Uh, we were inspired by uh, the the first guy I started watching do RV videos was um, Mike from Living Free. I was watching him uh, when he first got to um, Slab City for the first time, and then I backed up and watched the uh, older videos. And I watched him when he got sober, and by got sober I mean his dog sober. Uh, wonderful dog and uh, I've watched them travel around and he mentioned at one time Eric from Nomadic Fanatic so I looked up Eric and started watching him and I've been watching him for quite some time and uh, at one point they hooked up with um, what's his name Wayne I want to say I don't remember the guy's name from Wonderlust Estates I watched him for a while and uh, I want to I want to shout out to Wayne right now because 
he's been through pure hell and and he's uh he's doing great now he's lost a lot of weight and i'm really happy to to see him doing good uh but yeah i, I watch a lot of those videos um oh as i was saying about the uh the the, the bottom of the celery you can actually take this right and you just clean up that bottom a little bit okay just clean it, cut off that bottom a little bit to, to uh, expose it and here you got you see you see what you got there it's just the bottom of the celery and you can take a, uh, a small bowl uh, I don't know. You can you can you can actually take the bottom of one of these motel cups, okay? You, you just cut off the bottom of that. Put some water in there. Drop that in there. Set it on the windowsill, and you'll get a a celery sprout growing up right out the middle of that. And I love doing that from time to time. So you can actually grow your own celery plant from a celery plant and I don't know how many times you can do that but I it, it's not a it's, I wouldn't say it's a hobby but it's an interesting thing to do and and I strongly suggest that you try that you can you can do that with several different things you can do that with a carrot you know you just cut off the bottom clean that up all right, right there. Right, right, right there. You start with one of those and grow yourself a carrot. Well, you start to grow it, and uh, anyway, it grows more of them because you got to plant it actually in dirt after a while. Same thing with celery. Once it starts to grow the sprout and it's got the roots grown out, you got to put that actually in a pot. And uh, you can do that with, uh, I don't know, lettuce, um, cabbage, pretty much anything that, any, anything that grows, you know, you can, you, you can just, start it with, with what you buy in the store and just grow some more. Before too long, you know, you're growing your whole salad. And, uh, you know, just, just uh, try it and see how you like it. Oh, what did I do? Did I? I lost a piece of carrot back there. Okay. Oh, man, this is, that's one carrot and one thing of celery so far. Now, I'm not worried. I'm not, I'm not messing with uh, uh, peeling these. Because this stuff is gonna gonna um, cook for eight hours on low, and these carrots are gonna get nice and soft. Oh, you know, I was wrong about the um, about the carrots. You don't you don't peel them, do, do them like I, I showed before. What you do is you see this one here has already got a sprout. That's just from it being in the bag. And you just you just uh, cut the bottom off it, nice and flat. Okay. You take that and you set that in the cup or the plate or whatever, and it'll, it'll that, that's the top right there. Okay, that's the top. And it'll start to grow the sprouts, the, the top sprouts at the top, and roots will start to grow out the bottom of that. And once you got the roots growing, you take that and you put that in a, in a little pot, okay? And uh, that's when you'll grow carrots. You can do radishes that way too.
but yeah, it's it's a lot of you know to be able to to grow stuff for yourself like that. It's it's kind of empowering. It makes you feel good. Gives you a sense of uh, you know, hey, I did that. Oh, how much do I have in there? Oh yeah, I'm gonna need more. Okay, got plenty here. I'm, I'm gonna put this whole bag of carrots in there. I got an onion that I'm gonna put in there too. Love onions. Crazy for onions. Now I gotta I gotta have you excuse me here for just a second. I um I know I sound like I got a weird accent. I have a problem picking up accents. I'm watching a movie uh not a movie, a TV show. Uh I just told you about it, Wayne. He's from Massachusetts. So uh I, I, I normally have a very southern accent, but when I listen to somebody else, I have a problem with picking up accents. I, 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 uh, I just naturally uh, soak them in. And so I've got a little bit of, of his accent going on along with my southern, which uh, sounds kind of fruity a little bit, you know, sounds a little bit, uh, like an odd accent. Yeah, that's because I got a little bit of, uh, uh, Southern mass, I guess, uh, kind of an accent. Uh, that going there? Yeah, okay. So, um, like I said, you just have to excuse any kind of accent that you ever hear on my channel. Because it is, uh, it, it'll change. It'll change. God forbid I, I, I talk to somebody from Texas. Because then the, that, that, uh, country, western, you know, Randy Travis kind of sound mixes with, uh, with my southern and you almost can't understand me. And I'm not saying anything bad about anybody from Texas. You know, I love them people out there. They are just some of the greatest people. Uh, except for Dallas. Um, I had a problem in Dallas one time. Uh, we were at a Walmart out there. We were just picking up something for lunch. And uh, we were sitting in the parking lot. And there was this, this uh, homeless fellow with his cart... And he wasn't hurting anybody, you know. It was middle of summer. He was sitting under a tree just trying to, you know, just trying to cool himself off. He was being polite and wasn't bothering anybody. And the manager from the Walmart comes out. And he's really just abusive to the guy. And tells him that he's got to go because he's he's uh, upsetting his patrons. The guy was all the way at the far end of the parking lot where there were no cars. He was at least, you know, 50 or 60 feet away from the first car. And the uh, manager was just being a, a total ass to him. So, of course, by doing that, you know, and here we were, were, uh, tourists, of course, now that, that makes the entire city look bad, because anytime that anyone else now says, you know, hey, you ought to go to Dallas, I say no, no, because it, it's just left a bad taste in my mouth, you know, I, I just, I don't want to have anything to do with that city. And I'm sure that everybody else in the city is just wonderful people, you know. Uh, we had no problem 
with any of the people driving there, there are some wonderful, you know, normally when you hear people have problems with the city, it's, oh, the people, the people, the, the drivers there suck. Well, it wasn't that for, uh, for um, Dallas. It really wasn't because uh, there were some of the best drivers I've ever seen. Uh, and most of them were just really nice people. But that one Walmart manager, man, he just, he wrecked it for the whole city. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This carrot actually has tiny little hairs. These are roots growing out of the carrot. This is still fine to eat. You know, I just, I got a, I got a piece there that I got to cut off. All right. But uh, it won't hurt you to eat those roots. I mean, you can actually eat the whole carrot. It's the same thing with celery. Celery, everyone always throws away the leaves on top. You can eat those leaves. You can eat the whole celery right down to that bottom piece. Uh, carrots are the same way. You can, you can eat the carrot greens. So if you ever want, you know, to, to try something new, try that out, you know? Try parts of the, of, the, of the vegetable that you don't normally eat. Throw them into a salad. You know, you can make a salad out of, uh, out of various vegetables and include the greens. You don't even need lettuce. Not that there's anything wrong with lettuce. I love lettuce. I have grown my own lettuce on the windowsill before. Okay, there's that. All right, it's getting ready to start smelling good in here. Getting ready to start smelling good. Why? Let me tell you, I got an onion I'm getting ready to throw in here. Okay. Uh, I got my onion bag here. I'm going to take all of these, all these cuttings and just drop them in the bag. Yeah, I can already start smelling the, uh, the carrots cooking in there and the celery. I mean, it's a slow cooker, you know, so it doesn't get really hot. You can, act, I mean, it's hot enough so that you don't want your hand to stay on there, but it's not so hot that it's going to damage anything around it. See, I got my, my bag over here. It was actually right up against it, but it's not hurting it. All right, I'm going to put my hand actually right inside the bag here. And hey, if you uh, if there's something you don't like about this video, um, it's okay to not like a video, okay? There, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt my numbers or you know anything like that. Uh, but it does me no good if you don't tell me what you didn't like about it. Because, you know, if you if you didn't like it and you tell me, you know, oh, your lighting was off or, oh, I don't like the way you talk. If you don't tell me, I can't change it. If you do tell me, you know, if you go ahead and leave me, leave me a comment and say what, what you didn't like, then I can always change it in the future and maybe you'll end up with a channel that you helped to make good and wouldn't you like to be part of something good everybody would right oh here I need going in so if you don't like the video <laughs> if you don't like the video it's okay just let me know what you didn't like and I'll see what I can do. If you did like it, 
hey, it would be really cool if you hit that thumbs up button. I mean, that would be, that would be inspiring. That would be awesome. Let me get the rest of this onion I just lost. And you know, if you don't like it and you comment, I will definitely post it so that other people can, you know, share that knowledge, share that, that help. So that if they want to make a video on YouTube, they can say, oh, well, you know, that guy said that, that he didn't like this about Chris's video. So I won't do that. Right? So you could actually help more than just me, you could help other people out there. Have a positive effect in this world. Don't just be a, a hateful troll. There's there's no there's no use in that. Also, you know, if you're just being hateful, you go, oh Chris, I don't like you because you're fat. You know, yeah, don't do that. I know I'm fat. I know I want to lose weight. I mean, so telling me I'm fat isn't going to help me any. Telling me something that I could have done different, that's awesome. And if it's something, you know, if you're going to put out that kind of positive effort, then I won't, I won't just, you know, let it go in my, my, uh, my comments because, um, I have my comments set to, uh, only the approved ones are shown. Well, I will not just approve it. I'll, I'll probably say something about it in the video. Especially if it's a really good comment, I will always do shout outs and, and uh, uh, point out in my videos various comments if they're good. I don't, I don't mean, you know, good as in, hey, go ahead, go Chris, you know, you're doing great. I mean, if it's a comment about something that I need to change, I'll point it out. Because I like to help other people. Which is why I'm doing these videos to begin with. And they won't all be cooking videos or or staying in motels. I like the outdoors. I will be getting out in the outdoors. As a matter of fact, uh, after we leave the motel here and we go back home, whoo, smell that onion, lovely. Um, once we go home, I will be going out in the, in the area and doing some outdoors videos. Because we don't currently have an RV. We are looking to get one soon, if possible, hopefully. Do I have any other, let's see there's tomatoes, those and that. Okay, that's all I've got for that right now. Now we're gonna mix that up. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's, oh my goodness, the smell. Oh, smell that, smell that, oh. I know, smell with your eyes, right? This smells gorgeous. Okay, now I need, uh, what does this say I need? Um, I need one and a third cups of water. One and a third cups of water. All right, I gotta get my. Uh... I need to get my measuring cup here. A nice little compact measuring cup. If you see here, it's got little marks on there for quarter. Wait, third quarter, half, and full. So, 
Um, let me go get. There's a cup. You know, I'm gonna do two packets of this stuff. So we need. There's two cups. Roughly two thirds. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh no. Oh no. We can't forget the mushrooms. We went ahead with canned mushrooms on that. Canned mushrooms. Little button mushrooms. Love these things. I don't love them as much as I love portobellos. Because I have made portobello burgers before took a oh come on really I took a uh, couple of portobellos made them a bun and turned them into a bun put a burger in between them and baked them that was uh that was absolutely to die for. I hate these tops, you know, with the pull tabs. I really do. Because sometimes they, they just don't work. That's why I carry a Swiss Army knife. Alright? This is just a Swiss Army knife tinker. I know. No. Uh, camper? Swiss Army Knife Camper. Okay, it's got everything I need on it. Plus, I carry a uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool uh, Eating Tool. Or Eating Tool. And uh, it just clips right on there. So I've always got a, a spork handy. I've always got my can opener. And this goes in my EDC bag. So I've always got this. There we go. All right, two cans of mushrooms. Mmm, lovely. All right, let's go ahead and. Get our McCormick's uh, slow cooker beef stew mix here. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Oh, oh wow, that smells great. Of course, I'm getting it all over my shirt. I am so messy. You just don't know. Uh, so I haven't told you where I'm from. From a little town in the southern tip of South Carolina. If you ever look on a map, you know, or go on Google Maps or something, look up Beaufort. If, when you see South Carolina, South Carolina comes down to a tip. And, uh, That tip is Beaufort. Uh, it's made up of a, whole, of a whole bunch of islands. And we got some, you know, we got like Ladies Island and St. Helena Island and, and uh, uh, Harbor Island. 
There's Hilton Head, Hi Hilton Head Island, which is, you know, world famous. Uh, and um, we got one island that I'm sure a lot of people have heard of. And as soon as I say it, you're going to know it. Uh, it's the place where they make Marines. It's Paris Island. As a matter of fact, it's the reason why I'm in uh, why I'm in Beaufort instead of up around Minnesota or Milwaukee, Wisconsin or something. You know, my dad, when he and my wife, what? No, he and his wife, he and my mother, uh, got married. He came south. It's a long story for another time, but he came south to Paris Island to be a drill instructor in the Marine Corps. This was back in the late 60s during, during Vietnam. And uh, they settled in this area. <laughs> they settled in this area like they're... Oh man, look at this. This is just gorgeous. Uh, settled in this area like they're a couple of uh, pilgrims or something. Um, no, they, they stayed here when he got out of the military, uh, he became a carpenter in Beaufort and I see houses that my dad has built and I can, I can actually, you know, I have that pride. He's buried in the, uh, national cemetery there. He got a Marine's burial. Even though he was no longer a Marine, he had uh, benefits that carried over. And um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And uh, he and my mom are both buried there. Okay, now we're just going to let that sit. So, Paris Island is the reason why I live in Beaufort. Uh, I've had a lot of jobs in Beaufort. I mean, it's where I've been all my life. I'm now, I'm now 46. So for 46 years, I've been in this town. And there's a lot of me here. Uh, I've built houses also. Um, I've done some really great glass work. Uh, the local Toyota dealership, we've got some big glass. When uh, Buford Glass was a thing, I worked there and worked in commercial. So the um, local cancer treatment uh, place, we did glass there and you can see that from the road. So, I mean, a lot of very visible a lot of very visible things um, I can actually say you know hey I've done that and I've got a certain amount of pride in that but my wife and I are looking forward to getting out going out doing the RV life thing and uh, and doing YouTube um, and the more of these videos that you watch, the more you're going to learn about us, the more you may like or may not, I can't tell you. Uh, I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but, you know, maybe I, maybe I will do something along the way that will inspire you. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. So... I'll come back when this is done and let you see it uh, um, before we eat so you can see how gorgeous things come out looking you know in the crock pot uh, but right now I've uh, it's it's 930 um, in about a half hour I gotta go ahead and uh, uh, make a salad for lunch so I don't think I'm gonna show you that I mean everybody knows how to do a salad so when the uh, when the beef stew is done 
I'll come back and show you that. All right? See you then.